Schnecken erschrecken und Schnecken an Schnecken lecken, weil zum Schrecken vieler Schnecken Schnecken nicht schmecken. Schnecken erschrecken, wenn Schnecken an Schnecken lecken, weil zum Schrecken vieler Schnecken Schnecken nicht schmecken. I feel it helps to do it in a musical way, you know, you, you feel the beat. Schnecken erschrecken, wenn Schnecken an Schnecken lecken, weil zum Schrecken vieler Schnecken Schnecken nicht schmecken. Yeah, the, to me, the only one that sort of falls out of the rhythm is lecken. Well, they all have like a little sort of half beat in between them. Schnecken erschrecken, wenn Schnecken an Schnecken And then suddenly there's no little middle syllable there. Oh, yeah. You lose the rhythm and that's a little place to, to not stolper, to not trip over. Mm -hmm. I think the meaning helps here if you see the different um, parts of the sentence in terms of meaning. Well, then let's translate it first before we even talk oh, about yeah. the diction. Okay, so we have the schnecken. Which are snails. Erschrecken. Are startled. Wenn. When. Schnecken. And then we have snails. We keep having snails in this. An Schnecken lecken. When they lick snails. Weil. Because. Zum Schrecken. To the horror. Vieler. Of many. Schnecken. Snails. Schnecken. Snails. Nicht schmecken. Do not taste good. <laughs> Imagine how the snails lick each other. <laughs> <laughs> so gross. I can't even eat escargot, so I can't imagine. <laughs> I never tried them, no. This one's just fun, getting this sh, sh constantly sh, in this language, yeah. right? Sch schnecken, schnecken, schnecken. Mm -hmm. So here you also, you change from the very front to the back, from the, from the S-C-H, sch, sch, and then the K, schnecken, erschrecken. And you have the rolled R in there and also the upside down letter A. Yeah. So if you take the word erschrecken, at the beginning you have this, um, the prefix er. And here the R is the upside down A, er. And then you have the schrecken, there it's a rolled R when you sing it. So you have to differentiate both. Erschrecken. There's this prefix, we see this all over the place, and we don't ever want to roll this, right? Even when we speak it or when we sing it. No, no. Erschrecken. I would only do it if it's necessary for the drama, and I want to have a very, very strong effect. I would say erschrecken, you know, if it's yeah. really a terrifying scene and it's needed. So I would exaggerate as much as I can. We also get this at the end of the word fila. Yes, there we have the suffix fila. We wouldn't say filer, it's fila. So basically this upside down A in this case replaces both E and R. Yes, it does. I would only make an exception if I again need it for a dramatic effect or when, when I need it for singing, you know, when, when I feel I need to get it in front of the throat and I, I would speak a flipped R, but a very soft one. But this should be only an exception. Because basically this is also a drop-off syllable. It's not, it's not the stress syllable, so it should feel very unstressed. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And it helps us with this uh, upside down A, Fila, Schnecken for singing because we can just stay on this vowel and the sound will be much bigger and the throat will stay open. Yeah, so you're basically really singing an unstressed A. Ah. Yes, yes we do. Mm -hmm. Schnecken erschrecken, wenn Schnecken an Schnecken lecken, weil zum Schrecken vieler Schnecken Schnecken nicht schmecken. Schnecken erschrecken und Schnecken an Schnecken lecken, weil zum Schrecken vieler Schnecken Schnecken nicht schmecken.